Merry Christmas. So tonight we're gonna grill some quail. So a lot of times I think people even they smoke quail and we like doing that. But tonight we're actually we're actually deboning these little breasts and are gonna just grill them uh, with a little bacon wrap. So that'll be really good. So the process of deboning these things is uh, it's a gentle art, right? So I got these from a friend who was very nice to share these with me. So you pop out the the wishbone as best you can, and then under the ribs here to try to separate the, the breast meat out. See that? You really just have to kind of feel it your way. It's a beautiful day though. Outside. We've had cold days and it's finally gotten clear and warm up. As you can imagine, because this, these are so so Danny, we're just going to season them up a little bit, but they will cook quickly. And when I said this is gentle, I was really being sarcastic because there's our little, little filet, little breasts. I'm trying to get the remainder of that very fine uh, wishbone out of there. And these bones I'm going to reserve to make a little stock. Or actually, actually reduce down to make a little sauce. And then we can use with these. All right. So, here's our nice little breast fillets. And the legs cook so fast, I'm actually going to leave these bone in. And uh, I'm going to set these to the side for a minute and do some of the other prep we're going to do with the wrap. And then we'll be ready to take it down and put it on. What I was thinking we would do with these uh, these little quail fillets that we're going to be grilling is to actually wrap them in bacon and stuff them with a little bit of uh, some minced onions and a little bit of cheese. So I've got a, a pepper jack cheese and an onion and we're going to actually put in some jalapenos. And I'm actually going to cook it down just a little bit uh, before I use it as the stuffing. So, but it ought to be good and ought to get good and melty once it's inside the once it's inside the bacon wrap. But I do want this to be pretty fine. Like I said, I do want, you know, these are, those fillets are so small, you don't want big chunks of onion in there. Do you, Mary Grace? No. But we don't want it to cook down too much, because I mean, we'll continue to cook, and we want to pick up a little bit of the smokiness of the grill. I am gonna leave some of those seeds in there, because we do want some of that heat. That's where the heat comes from? Yeah, I think the white part and the uh, seeds seem to give me a pretty hot reaction. <laughs> this is the hand I need to remember not to wipe my eyes with later. Oh my goodness. Because you'll know if you do. Uh, sometimes I can feel it burning my fingers. Okay. That's the good stuff. <laughs> All right, we won't actually, yeah, yeah, we'll pop it I was gonna say we wouldn't put this in all of them, but his mom is not crazy about spicy, but it won't be so much. And be ready to, to, to wrap the birds, wrap those breast fillets with some bacon and with this little cheese and partially caramelized peppers and onions in the middle of it. So that ought to be good. So then I'm just going to cut this cheese really, really thin. Petite little fillets, you don't want them to be overwhelmed. So you're going to completely cover them with the cheese? No, the, the cheese is going to be inside. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we'll just lay that down. 
get some of this, and then it'll be ready to go. What happiness sounds like. Your butter may be about to burn. Your, your butter may be about to burn. Mm -hmm. A little salt, a little pepper. Who am I kidding? A little more butter. Too. More butter. It's just good for the soul. It's not your heart. <laughs> it's great for your heart. You know what they say, butter, butter. Good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more your cardiologist will love you. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go down and get the grill going, and we'll just let this simmer. And then we'll be back up, and we'll be ready to wrap the birds with some Hormel Black Label bacon. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's go. All right, so uh, this is so uh, this has got a load of coal in it, some of the golden slump charcoal that we were using the other day, and I've just added some new. Like I said, this is going to cook pretty fast. We don't need a whole lot in here. I'm just going to use some of this specially treated plywood that my friend Art Clark has put together. This is really great stuff. Uh, Fiddleheads, I think, or fiddlesticks is what it's called. But it lights so easy. All natural. Good stuff. We really probably need to get some of this going for the for goldens for the cast iron cooker. But anyway, so the cast iron cooker. Now we're just going to let that just letting that go, uh, and in 15, 20 minutes, it will be ready to cook. So I've got my bottom vent open, and I'll have the top. I'll just leave it open for right now because we're going to let this go over a pretty good temperature. All right, so uh, this is cooking down nicely. Just starting to it's smelling, you know, get that sweet smell released. And we're gonna uh, start to wrap the, wrap the little fillets, the breasts. And Mary Grace is gonna start to do the sauce. So we're gonna do like a reduced glaze. Uh, so we're gonna take these, these quail fillets. We're gonna put some of this in there, the onions and peppers with a little cheese, wrap them up with some bacon around them and then put a glaze on them. So for the glaze, Mary Grace is gonna do a, is it a pepper jelly reduction? Yes. Okay, so we'll show you that in just a minute. Alrighty, so we have the jalapeno pepper jelly here. And, wow, it's really thick. I'm just gonna take maybe a few spoonfuls of it. Oh, <laughs> we love this show. Your mama's gonna be mad at you. I'm just kidding. Um, if you're really trying to be specific at home, maybe like think, what, three quarters of a cup, but I don't really know what I'm doing, so it's fine. This is very honey consistency. Yeah, it's real sweet. Oh, that smells sweet. Is that enough, do you think, or? Alrighty, so we have it in the saucepan, and then we're going to distill it a little bit with, I have some white vinegar here, some, yummy. with this I'd say just do about a tablespoon. Alrighty, so we put in the vinegar, and we're just going to make sure it's all kind of there, and just let that cook down. It doesn't need to be on a high heat. Um, it'll thicken into a nice glaze. And so while she's doing that, I'm going to go on and start, uh, Starts kind of doing the stuffing with these little birds. Not really stuffing, what is it? It's just goodness, it's just deliciousness. Filling it with yummy. Filling it with yummy. So, and then I'm gonna fold that over. And take some bacon. And with the bacon, you're going to wrap it up and it's going to be so good. This is a very exact science. To me, that looks like a two bacon bite. 
<laughs> and you, you don't want to overdo it though, right? Because you don't want more bacon than you have of quail. That does look about right to me though. Scoosh a little bit of that bang in there. And then what we will do is I'll come back with a toothpick to get that to stay. I was going to say, is it going to stay on its own? It, it will. Will you grab some toothpicks out of there? Mm-hmm. Ready? Uh, here? Yes, ma'am. Is this a recipe you came with, up with on your own? On my very own, after spending a little time looking for recipes for awesome things to do with quail. It kind of reminds me of like chicken cordon bleu. Oh yeah? I haven't eaten that in a long time, so it may be very different. But I mean, I have to admit, my, my go-to with anything when I don't know exactly what to do is to do onions and peppers and then uh, cheese and wrap it in bacon. Because mm. I mean, can't go wrong. What's the possibility for error with that? I would tell you there's no possibility. I'm just gonna run that through just so that it'll kind of hold it together and not come all unwound as we're cooking. This may be its own question, but will it, will it burn up? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll see how dumb that question is once we start cooking. I know. Do they make tiny metal skewers? That's a fork. They do make tiny metal skewers. <clears throat> They're called pins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so lather, rinse, and repeat. We're just going to keep doing this. <clears throat> it's on simmer right now. Yeah, you can want to put it on a load. We'll just let it on the surface. We want it to get hot enough so that it's cooking through. Don't you just love how slightly in the way I am? I would prefer you to be slightly in the way than all the way in the way. You're never in the way to me, sure. Mm, I'll test that. Unless you're actually all the way in the way. <laughs> So here we are, just, you know, what, 15, 20 minutes later? Mm -hmm. Got nice heat going on here. I'm actually gonna restrict that airflow some. I'm gonna put my grates on so they've got a chance to get hot, which won't take long. We'll close that up for just a minute and then It'll be ready to go here in just just a few minutes. Either way, it's nice to listen to. I came back to my apartment one time, yeah. and a water pipe, I guess, underground had busted because in front of not my building, but the one right by me, just water shooting up three floors. Oh. And it was like probably 11 o'clock, and I was like, oh, that'll be a fun problem in the morning. <laughs> it didn't fit. I got back to my apartment, checked my water, my water was fine. These are the joys of living in an apartment. Everybody that I know, all the, all the young people that I know that live in apartments, they're like, I can't wait to get my own house. Why? So that when something breaks, you know that it's your problem? Yeah. And in an apartment, even if it was your problem, you make a phone call. Exactly. So how long have we had this golden cast iron cooker? Mm. This is the one of the early models. As I say, like, this is the first time it ever was a thing. Yeah, this was one of the early ones because it has the different handle has the tiny thermometer. Oh yeah. Does it have your logo anywhere on it? You know, I, it does not. Oh, it does on the top, yeah, on the, on the daisy wheel. That was before we had put 
the made in the USA on there. Yeah, it does look a little bit different now that I'm actually all reliable. These little legs that you know are probably done already. <clears throat> that little bit may fall through. Good. Beautiful. All right. Thing about quail is they're just so cute when they're little mm. and they're always little so when we flip the the, uh, the bacon wrap quail that's when we'll come in with your glaze and I brush that on yes Speaking of, we really need a brush to put it on. A brush to put it on. A daubing thing. Mm. So you can daub it on there. That does sound nice. <laughs> I'm going to use this paper towel. I'll go find one. Had a girl. Oh, hey, honey, take this with you, if you don't mind. I was halfway up the stairs. Well played, George. Well played. Yeah. Oh, I want to take a shower. Okay, those, those legs are certainly done. We're just daubing this on. Kind of painting these. With that nice jalapeno pepper jelly glaze that Mary Grace made. And sweet nibbles. It's getting hot up in here. We're going to close that top and shut it down for a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add a little more of that gloss glaze. Provide a nice sweet balance to that spicy. Are you excited? Yes, I am. This is the waiting for the grill to be finished dance. Very nice. That's why I think you should use a solid plate. No way. You get the cheese. Okay, I am the cheese. All right, 
I'm going to let this continue to stay hot for just a little bit to help burn off some of that goody. All right, so we've brought these in. Let's go on. Pull those. Mm. Ooh, so there we are. Delicious. I gotta have a bite though. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> Homemade Newman's Own Classic. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. I put it on the salad at home. It's homemade. <laughs> cream spinach. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Good to go, right? Yeah. I'll have some different color on there, but beggars can't be choosers. about grilling, what to grill, how to grill on your super nice Golden's cast iron cooker. Well, you can find all of like the answers to those questions or most of those questions right over here. We have tons of recipes and tons of fun videos to check out and try new things. I know I'm constantly trying new recipes out here on this grill.